in this module we are going to talk about reasons behind global protest it is considered that today in the contemporary world politics west is dominating and jobs are being outsourced and that has great impact on international wages and people are being poorly paid and those poor wages are making the life of the workers a hell decreased sense of job protection people of globalized era are more likely to switch their jobs due to increased competition and availability of international workers local small scale industries are suffering due to international corporations for example if we see that in this slide people are talking about fair trade instead of free trade so people understand that trade should be fair enough because in free trade you are just making a slogan out of it you are not getting anything for the developing world spread of materialistic lifestyle consumption is considered as a path leading to prosperity national and individual sovereignty is infringed by international lobbies and bodies Prob probability of civil wars is increasing due to competition for scarce resources polluting corporations of the developed countries take advantage of the weak regulatory rules in the developing countries we all know that different food chains are working in different developing countries like in pakistan there is pizza hut kfc popularly known as kentucky fried chicken mcdonalds are hardies or other food chains and there are other brands which are working in pakistan but they know that how they can get licenses through commissions and kickbacks and they ignore the those values which are really necessary for sustaining a healthy environment and they are causing environmental degradation especially in the third world look at this slide people need a political change not a climate change that is very much important to understand that people believe that well multinational corporations can work in those states but they are not supposed the to work at the stake of degrading environment again this slide is showing what i stand for what i stand on the planet only one planet we need to share and care the same so we all need to understand that no more burning of fossil fuels look at this so we are responsible for keeping our environment clean the greatest disadvantage of the integrated economy is that economic disruptions in one nation affects all other nations influence of corporations has increased more than that of civil societies and citizens because different diaspora are working in different countries when that economy is suffered it makes an impact of the countries where from where those diasporas belong to handful of international corporations control the world media unintentional spread of diseases between the nations elite class and giant corporations are the only winners in globalization because they are grabbing more economic resources because they are going in the far flung areas of the world for trade and earning money developing nations have to learn that how to reap maximum benefits from globalization developed countries should spread the positive effects of globalization developing strategies to deal with problems of globalization despite numerous negative effects globalization is not going to disappear we need to understand that being developing nation we have to adopt the forces of globalization how 
वी नीड टू वर्क ऑन आवर सिस्टम कैपेबिलिटीज एज मच सिस्टम कैपेबिलिटीज वी वुड हैव वी वुड ईजी ईजीली एडजस्ट आवर सेल्फ इन दिस ग्लोबलाइज वर्ल्ड 